Do you love space? Yes, we all love space. There is no one in the world who hates space. Then, what about the moon? Yes, we love the moon too. Have you ever heard about the moon day? Some of you might be here of it. The moon day is celebrated on 21st July every year. On behalf of this, I am here to spread some information on the foreign satellites launched by PSL. But before knowing about the foreign satellites, we must know what is PSL. The full form of PSLP is Polar Satellite Launch Vehicle. This vehicle is utilized for the commercial launches. So, let's know about the foreign satellites launched by PSLP. The foreign satellites play an important role in the global stage. Most of the foreign satellites are now turning towards India for our launching service and for our facilities. Most of the foreign projects are now turning towards India for our facilities and for our launch service. Most of the foreign satellites launched by India are used for the Earth's observation, scientific research and technological demonstration needs. As a remarkable achievement, ISR was successfully launched one of four satellites on board from the Satish Dhawan Space Center in Sri Harikota. Until 22nd April 2023, ISRO has launched 424 satellites for 34 different countries. Australia, Brazil, Singapore, Canada, France, UK, Malaysia are some countries using the Indian satellites. Dr. Jitendra Singh, the Union Minister for Science and Technology, announced that ISRO has signed Six agreements with four nations for the launch of foreign satellites in between the years 2021 and 2020. Satellite Communication System and its Applications by Dr. Giriraj Kumar Prajapati. Outer Space and Satellite Communications Law by Nishant Singh. Digital Satellite Communication by Tri Tiha. 5G NR by Sassan Ahmadi. Satellite Communication System by M. Richaria are some books from which we get some information about the foreign satellites. Do you know why does ISR launch foreign satellites? Many countries and organizations from around the world can request India to launch their satellite and also offers commercial launch service to both domestic and international customers. ISR earns $279 million in foreign exchange through satellite launches. The latest PSLV mission was on June 30. PSLV C-53 mission by ISRO successfully launched three Singapore customer satellites namely DSEO, New SAR and Snoop One. The PSLV C-53 was the second dedicated commercial mission for the New Space India Limited NSIL a central public sector enterprise under administrative control of the Department of Space, DOS. Now, let us know about some foreign satellites launched by PSL. DLR TubeSat was the first foreign satellite launched by India. It was a German remote sensing micro satellite developed in a joint venture between TUB and DLR. It was launched on 26 May 1999. It was used for the high resolution Earth observation task. One of the latest launch of foreign satellites by India is MVS-1 launched on board GSLV F-12 from the Satish Dhawan Space Center in Sri Lanka. It was the fifth launch in the year 2023. The weight of the satellite was 2,232 kg. It was launched on Monday, 29th May 2023 at 1042 hours. The second dedicated commercial mission of its commercial arm um, New Space India Limited, NSR, PSLV C-53, carried three satellites on June 30. <coughs> the launch by carrying DSEO satellite along with two other co-passenger satellites was scheduled to lift off at 18 hours IST from the second launch pad at Satish Kavan Space Center in Sri Lanka. The countdown of 25 hours leading to the launch began at 70 hours on June 29th. PSLV C-55 This satellite was launched on 22nd April 2023 at 14.19 hours IST 
from SDSC SHAR Sriharikota. It is also a dedicated launch of commercial launch through NSRL as a primary satellite and Luminate 4 as a co passenger satellite. using analog technology. The satellites made in those days were larger and heavier due to the limitations of the components and materials available. They were built of materials like steel, copper, glass, wood, etc. In the past, satellites were primarily launched by the government space agencies and required significant resources and infrastructure, the communication of these satellites relied on the basis of radio frequency communication systems. Satellites were primarily used for the basic tasks like communication and weather monitoring. An example for a satellite with these kind of features is the Sputnik 1 launched by the Soviet Union in the year 1957. But nowadays, the advancements in technology have revolutionized satellite construction. Modern satellites utilize digital electronics and advanced microprocessors, enabling more sophisticated functions and data processing capabilities. Nowadays, satellites have become much smaller and lighter over the time. Those launches in the 20th and 21st twin centuries are quite different from the 19th century. Advanced materials like aluminum alloys, composites and various specialized coatings are commonly used today due to their light weight, strength and resistance to the hard space environment. Today, miniaturization techniques and advancements in electronics have allowed for the development of smaller and more compact satellites known as CubeSats and NanoSats. The manufacturing processes for satellite have also evolved. Nowadays, there are automated manufacturing processes, precision made machining, 3D printing and robotic assembly techniques that streamline production increase accuracy and reduce cost. Today, the satellite industry has diversified with private companies offering commercial launch service. This has made satellite deployment more accessible and affordable for various organizations and businesses. Communication with satellites has greatly improved. Modern satellites utilize advanced communication technologies such as high frequency bands, laser communications and sophisticated data transmission protocols. The functionality and capabilities of satellites have expanded tremendously. Nowadays, satellites are employed for diverse purposes like 
Earth's observation, navigation or GPS, scientific research, climate monitoring, internet connectivity and space explorations. Overall, the making of satellites has undergone significant changes due to advancements in technology, materials, manufacturing processes and commercialization of space. These developments have made satellites more capable, accessible and versatile, leading to the numerous applications and advancements in various fields. But has also fostered international collaboration in space exploration and technology. And this has forced many countries to choose India of our service. As the PSMP continues to evolve and improve and remains as a prominent player in the global satellite launch market, it's also a benefit for all other nations. So, India is becoming a superpower. We all know the achievements of ISR over the years. But the demand for the rocket launches is increasingly going up and there aren't enough supplies to meet this demand. In US, we have SpaceX which is expensive and busy most of the time. Then we have countries like China and Russia which are slowly being isolated because of geopolitical situations like war. And India realized this opportunity just on time. In 2020, the government privatized India's space sector leading to the birth of companies like New Space which launched satellites for 52 global clients just last year and made the revenue of $279 million. Then we have Skyroom Aerospace which last year became the first private company to launch the rocket in space. Let us realize and appreciate the efforts of scientists, engineers, innovators and astronauts all over the world who have made all this possible. As Dr. A.J.J. Abdul Kalam would say, science is a beautiful gift of humanity. We should not destroy it. Let us utilize science and technology for a better world. Thank you.